Hello there, John Heffernan. One medium for story creation that I love working with is the classic picture book. A deceptively simple combination of words and images that, if combined properly, can have a powerful impact. Hi there. Welcome to my YouTube channel, John Heffern and Books. I've published five main picture books and I'll present them to you as videos from time to time over the coming sessions. But the book I want to show you in this session is called The Island. It's been a really good book for me. It's won several awards, national and international, and I must admit that it holds a very special place in my heart. I hope that you too will find something special in this book. The Island, written by John Heffnan, illustrated by Peter Sheehan. There was once a hard-working tribe that rarely smiled and never laughed. The tribe lived on an island. It was a beautiful island, but the people were too busy to notice. All except one, a blind urchin who slept under the stars. The urchin heard the sighs of the sea and listened to the whispers of the breeze. He felt the welcome of the sun as it woke the day, and he could smell the scent of a storm. He felt the air change when the sea birds wheeled, heard the fish as they slid through the bay, and knew better than anyone the tickle of sand between his toes. In the morning he let the island reveal its treasures, swirling shells and time-worn pebbles, crinkled sponges, sculptured coral, and the twisted limbs of driftwood. In the afternoon he squatted on the pavement, surrounded by his riches. He held them up for all to see, and any to take, but no one did. Early one morning, the boy heard a faint sound, far out in the bay. It was something he didn't recognise. He waited and listened as it slid closer. Soon a creature was at the water's edge. The boy stroked it, and liked what his fingers felt. Soft, rubbery lips, scales that trembled, slithery skin, warm and wet with life. The urchin smiled. When the creature slid back into the water, the boy followed. Soon they were playing together in the waves, and a strange sound tumbled from their lips. They laughed. The people of the tribe ran to the water's edge. It's a monster, they yelled. Come away! But the boy didn't hear them. He was laughing so loud. The boy's laughter swirled around the people. It drew them into the water, and soon the whole tribe was playing with the creature. Waves of laughter washed up the beach. The people liked how laughing made them feel. Every day they played with the creature until it left with the sinking sun. Our hard work has at last been rewarded, the people told each other. We have happiness. Oh, yes, but um, what if the creature does not come one day, someone asked. Yeah, what if it goes away and never returns? Oh, well, that must not be allowed to happen, the people agreed. We must capture the creature and keep it for ever. So they caught it, and dragged it off to a pool. After that, the people came to the pool every day. They swam and dived and paddled with the creature, but they didn't notice it was changing before their eyes. Only the urchin noticed, and he knew that the life of the creature was trickling away like sand through his fingers. So late one night, when the rest of the tribe were asleep, the boy helped the creature escape. The creature was exhausted, but the boy pulled and shoved and, little by little, dragged it to the shore. 
the tide crept in, and the sea gathered around the creature. Its skin trembled, an eye opened, a tentacle moved. As the sun lifted itself from the sea, they drifted away. The next day, the people searched the island, but all they found were a few scales lying in the sand. They sat on the beach and waited, but saw no sign of the creature or the boy. They called to the sea, but heard no reply. They still wait on the shore. Sometimes they imagine they see the boy and the creature rising and falling in the waves, and sometimes they even hear laughter. But to most of them, it still seems far away. The end.